Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a tutorial at the request of a follower. She wanted to see the seaside nails, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to be using my Glitter Bells glass slippers, uh, bright blue, white satin, blue pastel, blue velvet and the other one was a peach colour, it went too fast, I've missed it. And also sandstone which is I made out of NSS white, NSI white and CJP colour, I can't remember what it is, um, but the colour looked like baby poo so I thought I need to make some kind of use out of it so I've made it into a sandstone colour. So I'm going to be using that and also this glitter which is stunning which is called Caribbean Sea Mermaid Scales and it's by the Glitter Warehouse. Um, I have some little shells which I think I've got a pack of six from eBay. Some microbeads, white microbeads from eBay, I think they're 99p and also some mermaid scales from Busy Nails. And these I got from AliExpress, um, there's six in all, just they're beautiful little tiny stones. may not use them, but I've got them. And please excuse my nails, they're ready for an infill, which I'm going to be doing after this video. So I'm using other microbeads and also these shell pieces. And on here we've got various seasidey things, shells, starfish and bits and pieces. And some pearls, and I have some gems just in case because I don't know what I'm going to be using and also I think I'm telling you about these tips these were from Aliexpress and I think you get 250 and they were about three quid I think 253 pound and they're excellent they are just for uh, doing your nail out on but the only problem is if you try and cut these ones down they do tend to crack because they're quite brittle but other than that if you use them as, as a stiletto tip they're fantastic highly recommended okay so well I think I'm faffing choosing but I'm going to go in with my mix what I've called sandstone and figures that I'm, that's going to be the sand so I'm just going to do, when I've finished getting everything ready, just a tiny, a little layer of sandstone where the nail bed would be. It doesn't have to be thick as long as it's opaque. So a nice thin layer. That's it, that's all it takes. And what I'm doing, I'm going to do all my bright, my light colours first on, on, each, on each nail. So I'm coming in with the white satin, which is the Glitter Bells one, which has got beautiful shimmer to it. Very pearly, I would say. It looked really nice in a bridal set that I did, but you can't see the full effect unless you're actually there looking at it, but it is really lovely. This doesn't have to be neat, it can be as messy as you want, because we're going to be covering most of it, so as long as it's on there, it doesn't matter. one and then we're going to come in with another one I think this might be a whole nail of the sandstone because obviously you don't want them all looking the same so entire nail yes but I normally start from the bottom when I do it a full nail I don't know why I started from the top it just seems to blend better when you start from the bottom up but that one. Oh, no, still fapping. I thought I'd finished it, but clearly not. Uh, I spent 10 minutes trying to get the ball off the end. Finger it is. So much easier. But not good for your skin. As you can see, that's, I have contact dermatitis at the moment, so I'm having to wear barrier cream and then the, the nail tape 
just to give a little bit of protection because the blue gloves don't look attractive on film. So, right, next nail, I'm coming in with the blue pastel. And it's going to be about the same amount as I did for the first nail, just on the nail bed area. Very thinly, as long as it's, it has to be opaque to cover nicely, so. There we go. Just a little bit at the top. And next I think I come out come in with the bright blue. Put it on decide no, I'm not quite sure about it. It just didn't seem to look right, so whip that off, left a little bit on, and I think I went over with the white satin. Is it the white satin? No, bit more blue. Just to cover it a bit. It doesn't matter if it doesn't cover it all. Because as I've said before, we're going to be putting all sorts on this. So it's not a major problem. And then I just do a little wash of it instead, which is much better. Okay, so that's those done. And I'm going to come in with the first nail, I'm going to be doing the tip. That's going to be the blue velvet. And I'm so sorry I'm out of shot. That is so rubbish of me. I seem to have a habit of that because I like it really close to my face when I'm working. But then if I put the camera that close, I can't see what I'm doing. So, really sorry. But there you go. That's all I'm doing. It doesn't have to be neat, like I've said. Just as long as it's on and it's opaque and it covers this is beautiful um, acrylics very pigmented so you, a little goes a long way as you can see I've put the tiniest bead on and it really does go on lovely That's that one. but you can't see how thin this is it is so thin there is no bulk on that, the end of that tip whatsoever. And as you can see, you can still see the little stand through the nail that it's glued to, so that's how thin it is. Now I'm going in with the Mermaid Scales Glitter. A very thin layer. And the same with the acrylic. This seems to go a long, a little goes a long way. And all it is is little, little hexagons and big hex skins and it's really pretty it has such a lovely lots of dimension because at certain angles it looks blue it looks a bit of purple and green you can see I've gone in now with the white microbeads and then I kind of changed my mind and think mm, no I didn't want them on yet I put them on too soon I got a bit eager so there, I've gone back in with the blue ones instead. Now these ones do run, the colour runs slightly, the ones out of the wheel, don't know why. But I'm happy with that because it's actually a nice effect it's giving. So now I'm going in and doing a full nail of the blue velvet. And this was the, I think one of the very first ones I bought. Because I saw it on a video and I thought, wow, what a beautiful colour it's got such a nice shimmer to it so very first one so it also sometimes they go on better the bigger the bead the drier it seems to be even though I don't drain my brush it'll I don't know some of these acrylics you have to work really wet some you have to work a bit drier because they're too wet and then some just you need a shed load of monomer to get anywhere and it, it just varies I don't know whether it's my my ratios I've still not got the hang of it I don't know but it's, it wasn't a th it didn't go on thick anyway so I'm, I'm not too fussed and then I'm gonna cover the entire nail with the mermaid scales well Caribbean sea mermaid scales should I say by glitter warehouse 
nice thin layer and as you can see by the way that's you can see the blue in it when it's at its angle kind of a blue purple it's just so pretty it's got so much depth to it and later on when I add something else to it um, it looks stunning so now we're going to go in with um, what we're we going to go in with the beads okay we're going in with the blue micro beads again and you should see on this nail how it runs um, I'm just guessing they almost done because they're quite the cheap wheel of them I guess they almost run but just going in with a thin layer of the glitter like that that's that done when I've finished faffing with it come on woman Okay, now I'm going in with the microbeads, so I'm just going a very thin wash of acrylic in, and we're going in with the blue microbeads. And you can actually see that starting to run now, which is brilliant. It's actually a really nice look. And this one is also going to get some, I think this is going to get, right, we're going to go in with the shell pieces. Now I do start this and then I sort of flick back again because I've got to break some up. They're a little bit too big, some of the pieces I was using. I was going to put some turquoise in and it's kind of a blue-grey. But I went more for the grey than the turquoise. There's an odd one in there, but as you can see they're quite big pieces. So I do go away and break them up a little bit, so it's a bit easier to work with. And there's a couple of turquoise bits in there. So I'm out of shot once again, but I'm putting the shell bits on, I promise. So they're going in. Just a few random ones, nothing, doesn't have to be uniform. Just going to go in with a little bit more acrylic because it's dried, so. There we go. And then on top of that, I'm going in with a tiny bit of the glitter. You can't do that nail without glitter. All the nails have to have glitter. So just popping a little bit more on. And then we're going to go in with the shell pieces. Just a few more. Right, I think that's it. One or two is a little bit of the turquoise one there. And then we're finally going to go over that, I think, with just one or two tiny, tiny bits of the blue microbeads. That's it, I couldn't remember the name again. Yeah, just, you could hardly see, there's just a few little tiny ones. There you go, that's, that's all it needs. It's got... To, it's got plenty on it, it doesn't need any more at the moment. That's it. And there they all are. And as you can see, I did go in with the mermaid scales, which are so pretty. And it's made such a difference to them. They look gorgeous now. It looks, once it's capped it looks so deep and you can sort of there is lots of depth you can see right through which is what I was aiming for it's supposed to be the sea so you need all this so there they all done now I'm just going to cap 
I'm going to cap one, you don't have to look at them all. So, my capping's brilliant. It's just my nail bed shaping, if I'm doing a proper nail bed, is rubbish. Capping's fab. Um, marbling's really bad too. So that's two things I need to keep practising at. It doesn't matter how many videos I watch, I still can't do either of them properly. It's a real struggle. And when I do do them, I think it's a pure fluke, because I can't do them again. So, but never mind. Anyway, we've nearly capped that. Last cuticle bit. I think I just put a little bit down near the tip because I can see a little bit of a dink there. That's it, that's the bit. Even though I fixed it, it would have bugged me had I not done it there and then. So, okay, we're back. They're all capped, filed and buffed, ready for the final decorations. Okay, let's get zoomed in. I'm going in with a, normally, I would go in with my gel glue which goes underneath the top coat but it's for show purposes so there's no point using that up when it's just going to be to show people so I'm just going to go in with my normal born pretty no wipe top coat I'm going to go in with a shell pop that in place and we pop a little starfish and another little shell on there I think that's it. And then we use the white micro beads. I actually really like these little beads. They just remind me of the sea foam and when the waves crash in it's all white. So we're just going in with a few of those. Scatter them about with my glitter brush. That is pretty much it. That's nothing fancy not a shed load on just a few scattered about then going with the nail glue and we're going to pop another shell over the top so it looks like a closed is it clam closed clam shell close shell anyway so that's all ready to go into the lamp i do do another one the same as the one that's just gone in the lamp now this one is going to be the one that caused me so much trouble. Going nice and thick with the top coat. And this one's going to have, if I remember rightly, the shell with the pearl in. And oh, what a pain in the backside this was. I'm sorry if I go out of shot, but you will see what I'm on about when I tell you it was a pain in the bum. So, okay. There's the bottom of the shell. I'm going to put some shells around there. Just to make it look pretty because this is the main feature nail. I'm going to put some white microbeads on. Scatter them about. That's it. Then we're going to get the glue and we're going to put a, no I think I actually, right okay, I think I've cured that now because we don't need to use the gel anymore. So while that's curing I'm faffing because I forgot to uh, cut this bit out so you see me farting about, sorry, right okay it's cured. Right, little bob of glue now, and in goes the pearl. Not that you can see, there we go, little tiny pearl. Then we're going to put some more glue around that. This is the difficult bit. It probably isn't difficult, but it was for me. 
it was a nightmare. I was trying to get it so it goes on and it stays open so you can see the pearl inside and oh my god did it cause me trouble. I think you have about a minute of watching me struggle here and then I go off camera and it takes me like another 10 because it goes on fine but it's not open enough. I wanted it open so you can see what's inside it but it was being a pain but I got there eventually just get dropping off on me and as soon because I get shaky hands as soon as my hands wobble my picker upper wobbles and then the whole thing's gone so you've got it on can't get it open so you see me disappear in a minute and then come back and it's like surprise all done there we go all done only took me about 15 minutes but there we go, that's that one all done. And then I've saved the best one, obviously, until last, which is the glitter one. I could have top coated that one, I thought, no, I'm going to save that one. So everyone can see how beautiful it looks. Isn't that just stunning? There's so many colours in it. It's blue, green, gold, it looks amazing. really is beautiful and that's going to go into the lamp and there we go thank you so much for watching people if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe i'd really appreciate it well that's it for me for now see you again soon bye